Hi guys and welcome back. It is part two of Moinetta's Diary, December. It is the last month, as I've said, and I'm so sad, but let's do it. And um, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have any questions that I can look up while I am preparing for the final wrap up video. Okay, I'll see you at the end. December 19th, fine, very cold. I went up to St. George Street and mailed letters and got some stamps. Nearly froze. Phil and Mrs. Kesmick were in a while during evening going to hockey game. Oh, yeah. Love it. December 20th, fine in the morning. Lillian and I went to church. Got right home with Mrs. McLeod. Phil and uh, Miss Kismick and Mrs. H here to supper. Snowed all the afternoon. Mrs. Frazier's son, Gordon, called from, is that Woodstock? O-U-T or Q-U-T? I addressed cards and wrote letters until I was exhausted. Big, I thought that said rubbery. Big robbery Saturday night on Carmen Street. $500 stolen. Talked with Verna. Wow, that's a lot of money in 1953. I'll see. Well, plus I don't know if it, I doubt that's American money. So anyway, interesting. So she addressed some cards and letters until she was exhausted because it's December 20th. And if these are like Christmas cards, she's got to get them in the mail. All right, one second. I had to get a little drink there. <clears throat> All right, December 21st. Dull, mild. Does it say milder? Looks like snow. Not milder. Uh, looks like snow. Must do up a few more gifts. Snowed little, then rain. Rained. Sadie in for evening. Mrs. H came to stay while Mrs. Frazier is away. Mrs. Frazier opened girl gifts before she went away. Lovely things. Aw. December 22nd. Sleet storm. Then snow and rain. Mrs. Frazier left for Ontario. That's an O. Woodstock, Ontario on the 130 train. Okay, so what were they saying? Mrs. Frazier's son, Gordon, called from Woodstock, Ontario. So it seems like Mrs. Frazier is traveling on the train to go see her son, Gordon, in Woodstock, Ontario. You guys are like, yeah, we figured that out, okay? I'm slow sometimes. All right, Mrs. H went down to Helen, to Helen in the evening. Guys, we're almost done. December 23rd, fine, no snow, beautiful day. Mrs. H and I went downtown to finish shopping in the morning. Mrs. H came home ahead of me to get Lillian's dinner. I got home about 1.30 p.m. and tur it turned colder. Lillian went downtown too. A little snow fell. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's Christmas Eve day. Oh my goodness. December 24th is a Thursday. Cold and clear, five below. Quite a wind. I didn't venture out in the cold. Finished doing up my parcels. Sadie up in the evening. Helen came up and took her mother down home for Christmas. Lillian went to doctor and he told her she must rest for a week. Um, gave her medicine for her nerves. Aww. Betty Chapman was over and brought me a box of cookies. Telegram came, uh, telegram from Mrs. Frazier. Her daughter-in-law's baby was born this morning. Mary Suzanne. Oh, 
that's why Gordon called Mrs. Frazier because he was like, you gotta come here, Mom, because the baby's gonna be born. Oh my goodness. They had a baby born on Christmas Eve. Mary Suzanne. Oh, that's so sweet. My oldest son was born. Uh, why am I having a mental block? He was born December 26, 1987. So, yeah. They're, okay. I'm just getting so much older. Okay. December 25th is a Friday. Merry Christmas. Um, fine and mild. Little snow in, in ground in places. Not much. Lillian and Phil went down to... Windsor to dinner with their aunt. Uh, something over there until night. House alone all day. Oh, I went over to Verna's to spend the day. Had wonderful Christmas dinner about 5 p.m. Tab, Verna, Jack, Ray, Joan, Sisson, and myself there. Got lots of gifts to Lillian uh, and tell oh got lots of gifts and telegrams from Ken and Francis. Verna walked home with me and carried my gifts. She also gave me a something turkey and fixings. Oh, a bowl turkey and fixings to go with it heard the queen talking from New Zealand at 11 a.m. Ooh, I'll add a little clip of that if I can right here. That's so cool. All right, this is, uh, that was Christmas Day and now December 26th, which I don't know if I told you, but that is my oldest son's birthday. <laughs> we'll just pretend. I had a brain fart. All right, December. I don't think he watches these, so he'll never know. And if you do watch this, son, send me a little message so I know. All right, December 26th, fine. No snow. Beautiful day. Mrs. H came home. Sadie came in a few minutes. Later, I went in to see her gifts um, at about 1.30 p.m. Phil met his girl at bus and brought her up here. <sighs> Sorry, I get excited. They stayed to a turkey dinner and then went to hockey game. I rested all afternoon, was so tired. Yay! Mr. and Mrs. Uh, B and little girl were in after supper and while Lillian went out for evening later. Mrs. H and I here alone didn't sleep well, awake most of night. Aww. December 27th. Woke up to find a bad snowstorm, but a pretty one. Mrs. or yeah, Mrs. Mills. No, Mr. Mills says he has uh, snow plows out breaking roads to the hospital. Uh, you guys know what it means. I don't. Breaking, right? Bracking? Something. Lillian and I did not go to church. Mrs. H went with Mr. and Mrs. Sears in car. Lillian phoned her brother, Eddie, at the oh at Andover in oh so yeah remember when Eddie is Mrs. Frazier's son and Lillian is Mrs. Frazier's daughter right yeah Lillian phoned her brother Eddie at Andover okay so that's great so, yay. 
In the evening, can I be more awkward? In the evening, Mrs. H and I went to church. Got right home with Mr. Brenton. Very cold. Is that the weather or Mr. Brenton? <laughs> All right, December 28th. Cold, but warmer through the night. Before I walked over to Verna's, she wanted me to stay to dinner. I did, but only ate two biscuit and a cup of tea. Couldn't eat dinner. Aw. Ray was home. Yay! Mr. and Mrs. Ray Frazier. The two Frazier girls called late in afternoon, but I didn't see them. Mrs. H. and Lillian washed. Mrs. H. went out at evening. Lillian went over to Mrs. B's. I think it's Brooms, Brahms. Sadie came up for evening. Got word that Gordon Frazier's baby had Got word that Gordon Frazier's baby had passed, lived only 24 hours, and it died on Christmas morning. Oh, oh that's so sad. Oh. Goodness gracious. That's so tragic. December 29th, fine, beautiful day. Uh, Mama A, Aunt Vimmy, Sadie, Mrs. H, Lillian and I invited over to Verna's for afternoon tea. Big spread. Something came over for Aunt Vimmy, so he brought Sadie and me home in the evening. Mrs. H. went up to Mr. O'Brien's for evening. Didn't get home until midnight. Verna and Tab going up to Mr. Schne uh, S. for evening. H. had been here and left me loaf of bread. Oh, Hannah. Hannah had been here and left me loaf of bread and print for apron. I got letter from Francis. December 30th. Fine. Quite mild. Down to store and got meat. In to see... I don't know what that says. Sadie out. Mrs. H. took... I don't know what that says. Back to Eaton's. Dress. Dress? No. Something back to Eaton's for Lillian. Decided not to keep it. Mrs. H went out in evening. Sent letter to Francis. Lillian had camp away? No. Company in the evening. I wrote to Gertrude. Have a cold. Aw. Guys, we are on the last day of our adventure with Moinetta. I'm getting sad. Wow. Oh! Wait a minute. Do you see what I see? I'm going to put... Okay. Nope. I'm not going to do that yet. I'd be a surprise. I just have to figure out what she did here. Okay, you guys should be seeing December 31st, 1953, Thursday. Dull, mild, snowing before noon. I went down to, to mail letters to Gertrude. Very ice, icy. Don't feel good. Don't feel very good. Had my breakfast about 11 a.m. Verna phoned. Cold, no worse. Mrs. H. and Lillian were out in the afternoon. Mrs. H. went to midnight service in our church, 1030. Then she wrote, New Year's Day, and she underlined it. 
Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Right under that it says January 1st, 1954. She's giving us another day. I'm so excited. Yes. Thank you, Moynetta. Okay. Very cold. Three below last night. I woke at 845, but too cold to get up. <laughs> the rest got up at 9.45 a.m. Very cold day in a long time, or one. Sadie in at night. Verna phoned. Mrs. H went out. Okay, then she wrote January 2nd. Sadie's sick. Lillian went up to Youth for Christ. Picture, a queen is crowned. I feel like we saw that snippet, didn't we? Right? Yeah, because we, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'll double check, and if we didn't, I'll see if I can add something here. January 4th, raining a pour. Mrs. Barnett was in. Mrs. Frazier got home after dark. Train was late. So Mrs. Frazier has been with her son and her daughter-in-law uh, for, what, a good week? Mrs. Frazier. Yeah, because the baby was born December 24th. And I believe she went on the train. Mrs. Frazier left. Hold on, I'm looking. December 20th? Yeah. So I think she left December 21st, and now she's back on December 31st. All right, guys. So that was January 4th. Now I'm going to show you the other surprise. Look, she gave us even more. Oh my goodness. Okay. January, Tuesday, January 5th, 1954. Dull. January 9th and 10th, cold. January 11th, cold, snowed at night. January 12th, big snowstorm, biggest yet. 14th, father's birthday. Oh. Jan uh, beautiful, but heaps of snow. January 17th, 12 below, very cold. Oh my goodness. Big snowstorm. January 18th, two cars collided at the corner of our house. At the corner of our house. Six in one car and three in another. No one hurt. One car turned on its side and men had to come out the top. Uh, D. Davis from Eaton's in that car, or Dak, Dak Davis from Eaton's in that car. Seven of them were in here. Some excitement. Wow. How fast were they going? Because the cars back then weighed a lot more than they do now with all that metal and stuff. That's crazy. And I guess there was some excitement there. January 26th, oh my goodness, went to Seven Day Advent Church to see the couple married who were in car accident on January 18th. Oh my goodness. So people that were in the car, they helped them or had them come in and from being in the snow, I'm sure. Yeah. And I don't know for sure if it snowed that day, but and then they got to go see them get married. That's awesome. Like, thank you so much for letting us in your home and stay warm. And would you like to come to our wedding? <laughs> that is wonderful. Okay, January 27th. Over to Verna's to lunch, uh, dinner, and supper. Snowing. Mrs. Frazier's birthday, both girls over to Mrs. Frazier's afternoon and evening. January 28th, very bad storm snowing and blustering. Um, Dr. Titus died. Aww. 
Oh my goodness, guys. I'm going to peek. She has some more writing on the next page. Moinetta, thank you for giving us a whole month more than you really had to. Okay, now you guys are seeing the last uh, page. Went to Aunt Vinny's to stay at Louisville, July 21st, 1945. Whoa, guys! She, she wrote in this, seven months later, she's giving us an entry. Okay, but these do not, oh my goodness, wait a minute. Maybe she's just writing when she travels, because look at this. Okay, so July 21st of 45, she went to Aunt Vimy's and stayed, and then... July 18th, 1948, came to Sadie Chapman's Enterprise Street. Oh. August 31st, 1949, stayed with her most of time on Enterprise Street. She's telling us where she lived during these times, which, of course, is much later than... And we don't know the reason why. Okay, calm down. So August 31st, 1949, came to Mrs. Maybe that says Herman Frazier's Enterprise Street, Moncton. Phil married. She's giving us a reason. Phil married and wanted room. That's why she had to leave. That is amazing. Moidana gave us a gift. We know. Remember, we're like, why does she live in these different places? But, so Phil. Phil was bringing his gal, right? They were not married then. So he, they met in 1953 because it was the day after Christmas. Okay. Phil met his girl at bus and brought her up here. And that was on December 26, 1953. So as of August 1949, she went to Mrs. Frazier's home on Enterprise Street because Phil got married and wanted the room. Of course, I don't think we're going to know um, if he married that gal. Came to Hannah's something June 30th 1954 oh 1954 Hannah's I don't know what that last name Hannah Barnes and then back to Mrs. Frazier May of 1958 so I think it it is fair to say that Moinetta was a widow and from 53, who knows how long before that, there's two of the gentlemen that she talked about that they had passed so many years prior. So I'm, I'm going to see um, in my final, I'm going to have one more video about Moinetta and sort of have like um, names, um, just some interesting things, not anything that's very long, but one of the things would be me trying to figure out who is related to who and finally put that like on a family tree type of thing. So me thinking that she has been a, like, why is she living? She doesn't really talk about a husband, although there were times where like, is that her husband? But they would never were. They were like her sons. And why did she go from place to places? Because her, she, okay, so I don't know where it left off, but my, I, I'm running out of memory. Anyway, so if she has been a widow this whole time, she goes from place to place because, you know, what else are you going to do? So that's pretty exciting. So I will put these in order and of the locations that she was in. 
And then let me show you on the very last page, there's one more thing. And I'm going to block out the entire number, but I'm going to leave a little bit of it. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter now. Um, but here you go. 1952, I think. Jesse had $397,000, 300, no wait, scratch that, $397,312.60 left her by her uncle in Brooklyn, Mr. and Mrs. I can't, I don't know what that is. So when I said that our girl knows everything she knew down to the penny. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that you will watch my very final video. And I'll just sort of try to quickly show like a visual of a family tree that I could figure out. I don't know. Um, I don't even know what I'll do. But I will do one last video to send her off. And anyway, there we go. Let's close her up. I thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me and have a great rest of whatever it is. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.